It's Saturday night in a crowded Madison kitchen and some peculiar things are about to happen. Don't worry, it's mostly wholesome. This particular kitchen is in the basement of St. Francis House and I've come to participate for the first time in what for residents of the house has become a rare and uh, sort of ritualized experience. We're going to make beef burgundy, the really fancy kind. My future housemate Colette is sort of the ringleader. She's helping to orchestrate the early steps. I'm surprised to learn that one of those steps is to take the little cubes of beef and to cook them in the fat from browning two whole pounds of bacon. So I guess I should clarify that it's really the fellowship that is wholesome tonight and uh, less so the menu. My friend Christy is here as well. In a little over a year, she's going to move to New York and start going by Kristen. And uh, that's relevant because a few years after that, Kristen and I will get married down the street at St. Andrews. For tonight, Kristen is uh, queuing up the music from the movie Sister Act because it is essential to the experience that we have an uh, impromptu sing-along. I think she's also helping to apportion the wine, some of which goes in the stew to help thicken it up and some of which we will share throughout the evening. A big part of why this is my first time enacting this ritual is that I have kept this community sort of at arm's length, um, at least outside of official St. Francis House events. I am a nuclear engineering student and I'm not very good about taking my time with things. So consider this, we are past the one hour mark and we have only just gotten all of the ingredients into a pot. So there is um, much left to do and uh, it will take a great deal of patience, something I don't have a lot of at this point in my life. Before I bring the story in for a landing, I just <laughs> I have to mention one other thing. We are fishing around for matches at this point because we are going to add brandy to the pot and then light the whole thing on fire. It's going to go off without a hitch, and I don't think it has anything to do with the metaphor I'm working on here, but you just can't tell this story and not mention the flaming brandy. Okay, to the metaphor. What this evening teaches me and what this community has helped teach me is that sometimes you have to go all in for something that doesn't really seem to matter. To use a phrase I will learn a few months later on retreat, sometimes you have to waste time with God and waste time with the people that you care about the most. As we finally break bread somewhere approaching the three hour mark, it occurs to me that there is no place I would rather be and that there is no place that I should be except right here. This would be one of those rare occasions after a fun night out that I didn't think afterwards, oh geez, I should have been studying. So I realize that in this kitchen, every bit as much as upstairs in the chapel, I have um, put into practice something that we hear every week and that I don't always understand. Those words are this, let us keep the feast. That's a lesson I am still learning here in 2015, but at least I've got a better idea of how to do it and with whom.